So you joined a gaming community, but you still feel miserable. Why is that? Well, we're going to be talking about all that and more, but first, coffee. Now, today's coffee is an Ethiopian Erga Chef. It's apparently G1 Bereka washed. I'm still not 100% sure what all the details mean, but G1 makes me think that it might be a high grade coffee whether that stands up in the actual coffee itself, we'll find out in a moment. What I wanted to talk about today was actually communities and how a lot of people feel like joining a gaming community or some any kind of community is going to bring them some kind of long lasting happiness. I like to play fighting games and I've actually spoken a lot about controllers and how they make me feel a lot like I'm more a part of the community. But I've also had a back and forth like relationship when it comes to for the fighting game community because there's this for some reason the word itself fighting game community the FGC is obviously a community and whether we define that by you know whether it has people in it whether it has like a hobby associated with it whether it has regular meetups whether it has membership cards those are all things that could be discussed at length for multiple videos. I got it exactly on the money, 16 grams. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're talking about is how do you feel like you kind of belong in a community? Let's say it's the fighting game community. It could be a music community. It could be the art community. There's so many communities that I like to think that I'm a part of. But when it comes down to it, I don't always feel like I truly belong there. Now, previously when I made this coffee, I did it at 5.3 clicks. So I'm going to move it up to 5.4. Maybe I could go a little bit further, but I'm going to start here. Put those beans into my Easy Presso grinder. Extend the handle. I love these little mechanisms. It makes the whole thing just more enjoyable. Let's grind. So I've been thinking about how much I feel like I actually belong in various communities. And for the most part, I feel like if you're in a gaming community, but you don't actually show up to the meetups, it often feels like you don't belong there. But one of the discussions that has happened when the whole world was kind of shut down for a few years, it really started to become evident that you don't have to just show up to events to be part of the community or to have some kind of impact on the community. You can actually just watch fighting games. You don't have to go to the fighting game meetups and actually play the game. A lot of people like to say like, you don't have to do anything specific. If you want to be in the community, then you're in the community. But at the same time, a lot of people like to revoke the membership of people in the community. They're just like, you know, you're toxic. Or, I don't like you. Or, Your attitude sucks. It's like, we don't need you in the community. So there's a lot of like back and forth between this. Everybody's included. And okay, you're only included if we say you're included. That's not really what we're here to talk about today. What I really want to talk about is the fact that it actually doesn't require you to show up to an event and play the game to be part of the community. It's not that prescriptive. I think it can be really open. I think it could even be as open as just saying, I want to be in the community. And then you're part of the community. No one actually owns a membership card. No one issues membership cards. And so in a way, no one can really tell you that you're in the community or not in the community just because they've decided. But I started to think about it more. If you just say that you're a part of the community and then automatically you get to be part of the community, then why does it still feel like you don't belong after a little while? It's like, I've decided I'm part of the art community, but no one ever talks to me and I don't really talk to anyone else. Maybe talking to people is how I become part of the community. And then I'll talk to other artists or I'll talk to other fighting gamers, whatever the community is. It's like, okay, I know a bunch of people who are in the fighting game community. I have a bunch of friends in the fighting game community. Does that mean I'm FGC? And it's like, I still feel like, I think, you know, I don't feel like I'm part of it. What is the aspect that will help me to feel like I'm actually a part of the community? And I think what it really came down to was this one idea to be part of a community, you have to contribute. And that idea came to me while reading a book called The Courage to Be Disliked. And on the example that they were using, I'm just going to preheat this vessel here. The idea that they were using in that book was that when a person is a member of their workplace, then the day that they retire, they very suddenly become old. It's just like, I'm not a member 
of this workplace anymore. Who even am I? What happened to me is just like, I, I was this thing, my whole identity was wrapped up in my job. And now that I'm not a member of this workplace, it's like I don't even know who I am anymore. And when it comes to something like the fighting game community, it's just like, what if someone just took away your membership card? Is it really that easy to just feel like you're not part of something anymore? It comes down to contribution. Even if you had a membership card, even if you owned an arcade stick and that's what made you feel like you belong here at this local fighting game event, or if you brought your arcade stick to a tournament and you're like, okay, I paid for this tournament and I showed up and I'm a part of the community, but it's like you still don't feel like you're really part of it. Contribution is like the one way that's going to help you feel like you actually belong. You could have no friends there, you could be really rubbish at the game and have no performance statistics. You could show up at tournaments and not win anything. You could own all of these controllers and still not really feel like you belong. But if you contributed something to the community, and I'm not saying you have to be a creator. I'm not saying you have to be creative. You don't have to make YouTube videos. You don't have to win tournaments. You don't have to buy lots of stuff and support artists or anything. Whatever you decide, if you feel like it's a contribution to the community, then you will instantly feel more like you belong. All right, the basket has warmed up a little bit. So I started to think about all the aspects of, you know, whether I actually belong in something like the fighting game community. Because something that is a little frustrating for me is that no matter how hard I try, I don't seem to really improve at the game as much as it seems like is necessary to be a member of the FGC or at least a member of the FGC that has like a long lasting impact like I feel like a really core aspect of the FGC is being good at the game and leaving behind some kind of long lasting legacy if you go to events there are hundreds thousands of other people I think Evo Japan didn't doesn't have like eight maybe like nine thousand people showing up this year so it's kind of it's kind of an exciting time obviously there are a lot of people who are not the people showing up on tv who are important to making this a big community do those people all feel like they're part of the community i think this is an important conversation because there's a lot of ways to be part of something these days but feel like you're not having an impact or you're not part of it like you're not an important member just because you don't have a, a video channel with a large following or a, a Twitter account with a large following. Social media seems to consume a lot of our or contribute be a major contributing factor to our feeling of self-worth. Anyway, that's a topic that we could discuss another time as well. But what I want to talk about is very generally, what is it that counts as a contribution to a community? And when it comes down to it, I think the answer is that anything can be a contribution to community as long as you believe it to be a contribution. In fact, I even think that if you're making a negative contribution to community, you're still contributing to it. So I don't feel like the word contribution has to have any kind of positive connotation. It doesn't have to be that you made a long lasting like improvement to the community. I think that really contribution just means something that adds to it. And that's really what's going to help you feel like you're a part of the community. Because if you just show up to events, I mean, I think that is in some ways a form of contribution because, you know, you're making the numbers look big. You're making it look like it's a popular event. You're also providing the possibilities of people who are even more introverted than you to have someone to hang out with because you're an introvert as well and so maybe you have something in common. There are so many ways that you may not realize that you're contributing but you actually in fact already are. But I think that's key to the issue here is that a lot of people feel like they are not a member of the community that they've prescribed themselves to. Give this a knock. So if I were to start trying to find examples of, you know, ways that I am, you know, ways that I can kind of feel like I actually belong in my community, definitely being a player, 
I don't think that really counts to me because, in my personal opinion, for me to feel like I belong in the community as a player, I feel like I would need to start winning games more. It's really difficult to control that aspect. So instead of trying to focus on something that I can't really control very well, something that I do like to focus on is my contribution to like the media aspect. But the most important as thing to say about that is that you don't have to make videos to be contributing to the fighting game community. In fact, you don't have to contribute to the community at all. If you decide that you just want to be a member, you just want to have the badge, you just want to say, oh yeah, I'm a member of this community because it makes you feel good, then you've already succeeded. If you feel happy and you feel satisfied, then you've already achieved everything that you needed to achieve. Just tamp this nice and level. You guys got me really paranoid about the barista elbow thing just because I didn't stand up. Okay, all right, we are ready for some Irga Chef. Drop that in. So I feel like I've contributed in terms of making videos for controllers, making videos about various games that I support. And I think the important thing is that now that I actually think of it like this, like you don't have to be an expert player of the game in order to feel like you belong. I feel like I finally belong in the community. Not because I've done anything different, I haven't changed anything about what I've been doing. But this mindset, what have I done to contribute to this community? Instantly I can start counting and looking at the things that I've been contributing. And again, they might not all be positive, some of them might be negative. But by making a contribution to something, the important thing is that that's something that can't be taken away from you, even if they revoke your membership card. All right, done pulling this shot of espresso. We got 42 grams out from 16 grams of coffee. It took over a minute, maybe a minute, 22 seconds. I'm finding that I actually kind of like the flavor of that, so I might just continue to stick with that. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, 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 that's interesting. Okay, there was a lot more complexity. This is actually one of the more complex coffees that I've been drinking. So I've tried making it as a drip coffee, I've also tried it a couple times as espresso, but this is the first time that I've actually got a bit of the floral aspect. On the packaging it says floral, lemon tea, honey, long aftertaste. It definitely has all of those things right now. It's not tasting super bitter or anything, so I don't think it's like over extracted. <laughs> it's like I'm crunching on flowers. It's not really a flavor that I would normally choose. I don't know if most people go into gardens and actually think, I would like to consume this as a drink. I usually go into gardens and I go, okay, I can barely smell anything anyway, and what I can smell smells like plants, and it's not really <laughs> like an appetizing flavor. It feels like a little, a little squidge of lemon has been squidged into here. And again, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not really sure that I want people squeezing a bit of lemon into my drink. This is a very complex drink. It feels like maybe five or six different things were mixed into one to make a coffee. And it's funny because it's all come from a single coffee bean. So I'm enjoying the complexity of it. Getting back to the topic of community. I do feel like one of the major issues with any community is when it feels a bit like a club. I don't like the idea that someone gets to gatekeep the club. In fact, in, in any club in general, I don't like the feeling like there's someone gatekeeping and saying like, oh, if you only, oh, you have to perform to a certain level to be part of this club, or you have to pay a certain membership fee to be part of this club. And also don't even just like the general idea that there's a person who gets to decide, it's like, who elects that person? Were they elected at all? Are they self-elected? So it's kind of frustrating when certain things get treated like a club, because it's like, we don't like you anymore, we don't like you anymore, so you're out. But when it comes to community, 
really, I feel like communities aren't clubs. They're just a snapshot of all the people involved in something, whether you want them to be involved or not. Like the community kind of comprises all the people, people you don't like, people that you do like, famous people, not so famous people, people who are working really hard but not making much of an impact like visually, but actually on the, underneath are really providing an excellent service. All of these different people are part of what comprises, in my opinion, the community and it's definitely not something that I like to see as a club and so when I saw this idea in the book the courage to be disliked that really to find happiness and to feel like you belong as in part of something and that you can't just be quickly removed from it when you retire from your job for example contribution to that community is what's going to help you feel like you're a permanent member of it and again you are, you are probably already a permanent member of whatever community that you've prescribed to, but you might not feel like it. And so really, I feel like what I'm trying to get to with today's video is that it's not important whether someone gives you a membership card, and it's not important that someone says, okay, now that you've reached a certain level, you, are, you now get to be part of the community. Because the truth is, it's not a club. No one can tell you whether you're in the community or not. You get to decide that yourself. If you want to be part of a community, you're part of the community. When we don't think about it like a club, think of it like, well, if you want to be part of it, you're a part of it. And it's not like something that you can be kicked out of in order to feel like you truly belong. I think all you really have to do is think about what have you done to contribute? And again, it doesn't have to be positive or negative, it could be any form of contribution. And I think most people will find that at the very basic level, they have contributed something. And, I'll, and the easiest way, the easiest way to contribute to the fighting game community is to just watch streamers, just watch people playing fighting games. I mean, even one level below that is to just enjoy fighting games. Now, at that very basic level, no one knows, no one else knows that you're enjoying fighting games. No one is seeing you do it. And so you don't even have to own a fighting game. You just go into an arcade and you've, you've played a fighting game before, or you've just seen an ad for Street Fighter on the side of a bus in London. And you're like, oh, wow, that looks really cool. You're already kind of enjoying fighting games without having spent any money. And no one needs to know it. No one external to your brain, no one external to your soul needs to know about this. But in your heart, you know, hey, that Ryu fellow, he looks pretty cool. Oh, Chun-Li, the strongest woman in the world. I love that concept. I'm a fan of this franchise now. You're now a fan of the game. Even if you're not a fan, you could, you could also dislike it. You could be like, oh, that's a character. Who is this person with the you know, electricity? And who is this person with the fireballs? And who is this person with the sonic booms? I'm not, I'm not a fan. I think these, these characters look kind of bad. Whatever it is, you're now sharing an opinion. You're now involved in it. You can be a part of the community, even if you don't like the product. And that's actually kind of important because as you can see, a lot of people dislike the game that they play. A lot of people spend most of their time on Twitter being very negative about the game. And I'm not going to hear, I'm not here to say like whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. What I am going to say is that whether you're being negative or positive on Twitter or on YouTube or any social media space, you're contributing. You're contributing. And so enjoying fighting games, Again, it could be art, or it could be music, or it could be programming, it could be whatever your hobbies are. Enjoying fighting games is the basic level. No one can tell you that you don't enjoy it. You can enjoy hating the game, you can enjoy loving the game, but you're kind of contributing to the game by increasing the fandom of it. And then another level that you could go after that is to watch other streamers playing the game. You know, that involves a little bit of investment of your time. Again, it's no different to the previous contribution. You're contributing to the community just by enjoying fighting games. Something you can do that helps other people in the community and gets you involved with other people in the community is by watching people who stream the game. All you have to do is turn on YouTube, which is a free service. Okay, sometimes you have to watch some ads, but on a basic level, the product itself is free and you can support people. And it looks, it helps those streamers because their numbers go up. They go from 31 viewers to 
32 viewers. And then if you bring a few friends, it goes from 32 viewers to 35 viewers. And then suddenly that person a couple of years later has 400 people watching them every time they stream. And then it goes on and you can end up being one of these streamers that has like nine thousand people watching every single stream even if they're not streaming fighting games by being a viewer of content you're also for absolutely no money but an investment of your time you are supporting and that's a form of contribution but then you can go another step further you can actually play the fighting games yourself and actually enjoy so again that's another form of enjoying the game but then if you're playing the game you're most likely paying for it. I mean, you can go to a local and play it for free, but if you buy the game, not only are you playing the game and then contributing to building up the community even larger because of your enthusiasm and your sharing and discussions with other people, but you're also monetarily supporting the games by putting money into the game. And so the companies that make the game have more money to make more games and then they can also sponsor more tournaments and they can also give more money to the prize pool. It all contributes and it doesn't have to be a positive contribution. It could also be a negative contribution. We're not here, I'm not here to say that you should be making a positive contribution to your society or to your community. That's absolutely not what I'm trying to say. All this comes down to today is if you feel like you don't belong. And it doesn't have to be about gaming communities. It could even just be acting as a member of your family. You might feel like everyone has got a job, everyone has graduated, everyone has succeeded academically, but look at me, I'm still sitting in my bedroom, I don't have enough money to move out, I don't have any real job prospects right now. You could be feeling very negative about the whole thing, but when you really look at it, you've already made, just by being born, huge contributions to your family. You're a joy because you're, you are your parents' wonderful thing that they created. And so they're happy that you just exist. And so you've already contributed to your family in that way. But you can continue to feel like you belong more by contributing more. So it's like, okay, I don't have a job, but what can I start doing around the house to help. And again, it doesn't have to be a positive contribution. You could be making negative contributions. Personally, I don't feel like I would want to encourage that. But if your goal is to feel like you want to belong somewhere, then really, it's just the contribution that leads to that. And it's not about a membership card. It's not about something that someone can revoke from you. I think even if you had a family member say to you, you don't belong here, get out of my house. They can't ever really take away the fact that you belong in that family because you were born into it. They can't really take anything away from the fact that you've already contributed to their life by purely existing. And I think that's a wonderful thing. It's like we don't have to feel the pressure of making positive contributions or negative contributions. We just have to think differently about what we've already most likely contributed. On a personal level, Again, I think it comes down to feeling bad that I wasn't like performing at a high level in the game. I felt like I'm not strong enough at this game to have been really recognized as a member of the community. But it's kind of different for me because I make videos about it. And most other people who make videos about fighting games, they have a general level of technical expertise that personally, I was feeling was what validated them as the, you know, having a valid position in the community. I was like, well, you make videos about the game, but you also seem to understand how to play it. And when you show footage of the game, you show that you actually know how to play the game. But personally, I was looking at my own videos and I was like, I don't know, I make all these videos where I talk about how much I love fighting games. I make all these videos and stream where I actually play the game, and I make these reviews about controllers. But for some reason, I feel like I still don't really belong. Even after going to a local event and talking to other people, it's just like, but I don't know if these are my people. Like, I don't feel like I'm like the other people that are here. Or maybe I'm not as into the game. I mean, everyone seems to put a lot of hours into the practicing of the game, but 
I don't practice as much as other people because I've got other interests. And also, I mean, this is this is a deeper topic. It's it's entirely possible that the reason I have other interests is because I don't have the courage to actually be bad at the game. I'm I'm, I'm too afraid to discover that I just don't have the ability at the game, and so I just don't practice because I don't want to find out if maybe I'm just not cut out for this. And that's another big topic and something that I think about often. But ultimately, it came back to actually has nothing to do with performance in the game. It has nothing to do with being like other people in the community. I don't have to look like you, and I don't have to speak like you. I don't have to play the game as well as you do. All I have to do is think about, what am I doing to contribute to this? Am I paying my fees? Am I, you know, am I buying my ticket when I enter tournaments? Am I buying games? Am I purchasing them myself and actually putting money in arcade machines? Am I contributing and investing in this product that is going to continue giving back to me? Because if the companies have money, they'll continue being able to make more games. Sometimes they just don't, but this, that's, that's the gamble. But then when it comes back to it, something that I found that I have been doing is <clears throat> making content for fighting games. And that's something that... Now I feel much more confident about. People have said it to me before, you know, like, don't doubt your contribution to your community. But I do. It's like I would constantly kind of doubt all the things. It's cause like, but it's not the contribution that other people are making. And that's, that's, a, that's a difficult stage, right? When you start comparing yourself to others, it's like it's a losing game because you're always going to be able to find someone who's doing it better than you are, in your opinion. And it's not about comparing yourself to others. It's about thinking, what have I done to contribute? And if I haven't contributed anything, what can I do to contribute? Not because contribution is important. I'm not saying that anyone even needs to contribute to a community. But if you feel like you don't belong in a community, and it could be your fighting game community, it could be your family, it could be the school that you, could, you go to, it could be the grocery store that you go to every week, what are you doing to contribute? If it's something like shopping, all you have to do is buy stuff at the grocery store and you are contributing. All you have to do is show up in the store and make the store look good. Now it's, it looks like it's full of people and other people will go. If you see a cafe that ever, only ever has like one person in it, you could just go in and sit in the cafe, maybe buy yourself a coffee. The coffee shop will look more popular and as more people show up, more people taste that coffee and decide for themselves whether it's actually a cafe that they want to enjoy being in. Maybe the coffee tastes terrible and maybe people won't stay. But these are all ways that you can feel more like you belong. It doesn't even have to be a positive contribution. So I really hope that that has helped in any way. If you feel like you don't belong, and I definitely have felt that way about almost every hobby that I've been involved in, I often reached this level of doubt. It's like, my art's not good enough. My, the way that I play the fighting game, I'm not strong enough. The, the music that I'm writing hasn't appeared in enough video games. It hasn't been performed in enough concert halls. Don't doubt yourself. Whether you like it or not, you've probably already made significant contributions to whatever community it is that you want to be a part of. And ultimately, life does really come back to communities. When it comes down to it, what I think I'm really trying to say here is you do belong. You belong in your community and no one can take that away from you because it's not a club. There are no membership cards. No one person gets to decide whether you belong here in your community and if you feel like you don't yet belong in your community, the good news is that you are the one that has the control over whether you belong here. All you have to do is make a simple contribution. Thanks everyone for sticking with me till the end of this video. I very much enjoyed making a coffee with you. Oh man, that was a complex drink. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out this video next. I've got lots and lots of videos where I make coffee and chat to you about various topics, usually video game related. <sighs> That's all for today. I hope I'll see you real, real soon.